okay. Um, I want told you that I would explain why I'm wearing the mask. Uh, I'm wearing the mask because until the transgender community can stand up with one voice and we can stop bickering amongst ourselves, what's, what's transgender, what's not, <clears throat> and stand up and get the rights and the protections that we've been demanding, but only half-heartedly. So that's why I'm wearing this mask. And something else I would like to speak with you about is the lesbian woman who has been sentenced to 11 years in a New York State prison. This woman's life has been ruined because of one bigoted asshole. In return, from what I understand from the story, this woman and her friends were jumped by a moron. The idiot proceeded to try to hurt her friends and the young woman pulled a knife. And apparently she used it. Well, my mom always told me don't pull a blade unless I intend to use it. Don't pull a gun unless I intend to use it. So, thinking of that in the judicial system in New York and across this country, we need to arm up. I'm in total agreement with that young man who was speaking about this last night when Miss Stone sent me the video. I appreciate it, girl. Thank you very much. This is something I did not know. <clears throat> now, as long as I can remember, in the minds of everybody out there, it is okay to pick on, beat, and kill members of the GLBT. How long do we have to put up with this shit? How long are we going to put up with this shit? I'm not calling us to go to war. I'm not calling us to start a revolution. I'm not. I, that is not what I'm saying. What I am saying is shit's getting worse and we need to learn how to protect ourselves. Where I stand on that? Is if somebody tries to attack you, you hurt them. You know, pepper spray, mace, whatever your state says, which one of those two are not illegal. Knives, guns, you know, only if you carry a permit and you know how to use it. You know, fight back. There has been too many of us that have been murdered because of who we are. Enough is enough. It's just enough. You see, um, I don't want to waste your time by telling you a little story that happened to a friend of mine. But, uh, my friend's dead. Because of three morons. And it hurts. More than any of you which probably should know. Nobody should have to live in fear. You know, I got this one moron in this trans group, transgender group that I belong to, and he's saying that, you know, he's talking like, you know, we shouldn't come out of our homes, you know, where we're, we should, you know, don't put ourselves in the predicaments where we can get hurt. Um, 
Okay, so how do you expect us to live? I mean, hiding out in our homes and all that, the remainder of our lives. You know, we have to work, we have to eat, we have friends, we have family. You know, I don't understand what he meant by that. And I do believe I asked him, but uh, I haven't got a message back on that. So, anyway, um, all of the GLBTQA out there, be careful. Use your head and please protect yourselves. I paid my dues time after time. I've done my sentence but committed no crime. 